Hey guys, Charles here, and in today's video, I'm going to be running you through a technique that I have covered in a previous video, kind of, but I didn't really do the best job I could have possibly done to actually uh, show you how to check the quality of a PBN slash SEO domain effectively, because it is one thing that I think a lot of beginners, intermediate, and even some advanced SEOs are getting completely wrong nowadays. Um, personally, I believe that metrics are, should be completely thrown out the window when you look at domains, because it is literally all about the link profile mixed a little bit with obviously spam checking it versus things like web archive and the again the link profile and text ratios and such so without any further ado let's jump into it okay so first of all i'm going to be jumping into a hrefs i've also got a majestic tab open here um, this domain is courtesy of TB Solutions. If you click the link in the description down below, you'll get an exclusive 8% off the entire marketplace. They have over 500 domains in the marketplace at the moment, which are all aged. They're never dropped, and they have got some awesome link profiles, as you will see here. Now, most people would look at the domain rating, which is extremely high for this uh, domain, and also look at the TF and CF, which is also pretty good, and say that this is a pretty good domain. They would be right about that, but it wouldn't be the best domain of them all. This domain is probably worth at least a couple hundred dollars because it also comes with some age. Um, if you want to check the age of a domain because it isn't actually um, just a, uh, it's not just an expired domain because nowadays you want to be using mostly age domains if you can. You will go to webcomps.com. I'll link to all the tools in the description down below. Uh, this is a domain age tool which will come back and tell us the domain age is two years and four months old which is a pretty decent age to get a site on. Uh, once you've done that, you want to head over to the link profiles on here. I'll be using Ahrefs in this example and Majestic later on. Uh, but Ahrefs generally has a lot better data and they also allow for a lot better uh, searching, which I'll show you now. All you have to do once you've gone into the backlink profile of this domain is go to link type, do follow, which cuts down about 200 domains. So you know that the domain overall has about 200 uh, no follow links. And then you want to go one link per domain. This means that we have 90 do follow backlinks from unique domains. Essentially, we have 90 do follow links from individual different referring domains which allows us to actually go through and check all the different ones once you've done that you want to head, head over to dr which allows you to sort through the very best of the links uh, obviously this one is just an Alexa ranking but then we have links such as Adweek, uh, digital trends product hunt business news daily X economy etc this is a generally very good domain, not only because the link quality is very good, but most of the links are going to the home page. That is something that is very important. You'll see a lot of the links here are actually going to the home page directly, because what I do when I build PBNs is the majority of the time I'm building PBNs that have the full post on the home page, which essentially means that my majority of the juice that I'm getting back from these links is going to be coming from that home page because that's where the majority of the posts are going to end up. This domain would be a very good technology domain purely because it has a lot of links that go directly to the home page and also they're very uh, branded anchors etc. They're not going to be full filled with spam. Um, if you go to the overview on Ahrefs you'll be able to see the anchor text cloud here which is scratch, try scratch, scratch etc. This is all very branded stuff. There's no uh, reason for this to ever be penalised etc. When we go over to, a hate, uh, to Majestic, sorry, we do the exact same kind of process. Instead of, uh, we have all the filtering which allows us to go to the do follow filtering. We go to the backlinks tab, uh, hide deleted backlinks so that we get rid of any ones that deletes on here. And then we can just scroll through, see all the ones that do follow because they don't have the no follow attribute. See if they're linking in fact to the home page and also see what kind of home page is. In this case, it's an SSL. So we'd best off adding an SSL certificate to this domain. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it from the Majestic side of things. You can also download and export this uh, into an Excel document if you prefer looking at things from an Excel point of view. Once you've done that, you want to head over to Web Archive and have a look at different uh, volumes. So you'll see here, because the domain is two years or so old, we can go over to the snapshot, choose a random one here, and it will load the page of what it previously looked like um, two years ago. So we can actually kind of see what the niche relevancy of this domain specifically was, rather than it just being a general technology domain and having a look at the niche from the backlinks. For example, uh, this one here, which is taking a second to load, as they all seem to do, um, has a load of stuff which is related to an app, which has loads of different stuff all over here, um, and it's loading the massive kind of thing around it. It seems to be some kind of shopping app called Tap, 
we charge your card and have the product shipped to you and help with returns. No online shopping headaches required. So it's essentially a shopping app which would make for a brilliant shopping and technology domain for your PBN. I hope you enjoyed this little video. This has been Charles Flow. Peace. Love, love, love.